Okay, now I want to demonstrate how to download your saved log files from the KKFI logger computer onto a USB flash drive. So I'm on the computer right outside of the studio, and the USB ports for this computer are right on the front. So I'm going to take this USB drive and plug it into the USB port on the left here. And so when you plug it in, to the USB port, you should see an icon come up here uh, that symbolizes your USB drive. And in this case, and the folder pops up too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close the folder, uh, but that's just how you know that your USB drive is recognized. The link to the KKFI Logger website is right here on the desktop. Uh, so this is a shortcut. You can double click on it. Uh, you can also just open up the web browser and go to bookmarks, and it's bookmarked also, the logger, iMedia logger. So if you don't see the shortcut there, you can go to the bookmark. Uh, and if for some reason you're on a different computer here in the studio and, and it doesn't have either of those, you can also type in this number, 10.10.10.196. So you can write that down uh, just in case you're using a different computer and you don't find the shortcut or the bookmark. So once you're on the iMedia Logger website, go to Inventory, and then it'll list the different months for which it has log files. So I'm going to choose December, I'll go to December 3rd, and now these are the different hours on December 3rd that it has log files for. So you see over on the right here for each hour it says right click to download. Uh, so I'll right click and choose save link as. So when you do that, you should get this uh, this box about where to save the file. It might look like this if it doesn't uh, have this open, if, and it might be in a different folder here. Uh, if that's the case, you just need to hit browse for other folders, and then you should see over on the left the same icon for your USB drive. And this case is called store and go. So I'm just going to click on that and you'll see the folders here. The other important thing is for the file name you need to put a .mp3 on the end of the file name. So it doesn't do that by default. Just click up here at the end of the file name and type in .mp3. And that way the computer will know it's an audio file. Um, click save. And now the file that says download finished is saved on your USB drive. So go ahead and close this. And it's always a good idea when you're using USB uh, to eject it or unmount it. So go ahead and right click on the icon for your USB. Um, instead of eject or disconnect it here, it's called unmount. So go ahead and do unmount. The icon goes away and then you can uh, go ahead and, and pull out your USB drive. So that's another option. Uh, the other option is to just email that file to yourself, save it to the local computer, bring up your email program, and email it to yourself. So uh, whichever one you want, whichever is easier for you, if you don't have the USB drive with you, you can do the email. Uh, email just takes a little bit longer because you have to wait for it to upload uh, to your email program. But then you just uh, create an email message and send it to yourself. Either way is fine.